it's Around Town with Mandy. And while I can't be around town, I've decided to come in the studio. And while 18 years of 4-H has been put into the test, I've decided it's a new segment, Making Masks with Mandy. So let's get started. You're going to need a few household items. And I have them here, as you can see. So let's say a pair of scissors, a few rubber bands, a good handful, some paper towels, an everyday t-shirt you may not be wearing or that's clean sitting around the house, a dish towel will work, a piece of material maybe for your sewers out there you have sitting around, and even a sock. So where should we begin? Make sure you're tuning in and get this cameraman. This is amazing. So I've pre-cut the shirt here, as you can see, right at the bottom, just like so. The first step you're going to want to do is to lay your shirt out flat. You're going to fold the top half over, nice and smooth, and the bottom half over, nice and smooth. Then you're going to fold one or the other over just a little bit, just like so. This is where the rubber bands come in. You're going to grab yourself two rubber bands, courtesy of George. You're going to fold them on the ends right over your shirt, just like that. Just about, not, you know, three quarters of the way or a little bit in. Going to do the other end the same way. So your product's going to look like this. Let me hold it up for you. Similar to that. So you're going to lay it out nice and flat. Okay. At this point, it definitely doesn't look like a mask, but just wait. You're going to fold over the ends. Nice and smooth. Just like so. So your rubber bands are going to be pointing out to the end of the t-shirt. At this point, this is where your paper towels would come in handy. Or a coffee filter, or maybe another piece of small material, just for an extra filter. You just want to fold it over where your mouth would be, like so. You're going to grab onto the rubber bands. You're going to take the material and you're going to bring it to your face. Voila! A homemade mask! See, it's that simple. And that's a t-shirt. But wait, I'm going to show you another little trick. So just like an everyday piece of household material, as I was saying, and of course, I picked John Deere. Just happens to be my favorite. So I've pre-cut the material, as you can see. It's a fairly larger square. Let's set this mask up to the front here. So you're going to do the same option. You're going to fold under. You're going to fold the bottom up, just like so. You're going to take the top and fold down again, just about to where your first crease was. And you're going to fold the bottom up, like so. At that point, that's when your rubber bands come in again. You're going to take them on the ends, fold them up to the ends, just like that. And you can always look around your house and find things. Pillowcases or um, tea towels work great. We've got that taken care of. Fold your ends in, just like I was telling you. Nice and flat. At this point, this is where the paper towel, the coffee filter, another piece of material, just for protection. And remember, when you're wearing these masks, they're not so much to protect you against, you, you know, other people. You don't want to get other people sick. So you don't know you may be a carrier. This is to protect so you're not getting them sick, not so much to get you sick. All right. So there we are. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. This one we'll just leave like it is. You take the rubber bands, fold to your face. And you have a mask. It's quick and simple, easy DIY projects. But the last one, you're not going to believe. 
an everyday sock. This is pretty cool. I've pre-cut one to make it move a little smoother. So you're gonna fold open your sock just like this and lay it flat. You're gonna cut and take your scissors along the top half of the sock. Once that's cut, you're gonna go to where the stretchy part that goes around your ankle and you're gonna cut in just about uh, halfway. Then you're gonna go down to the toes. You're gonna cut all the way and cut the toes out at the end. And then slice the end so that it opens up. Like so. At that point, fold the sock out flat. Before you fold it out flat, you're gonna to wanna to make two small slits, one at the top, and one at the bottom. Those slits are gonna be the purpose for your ears. Who'd have thought a sock could have saved us and made us a homemade mask? So that's just a few tips for making homemade masks while you're at home being safe. But if you have to go out, definitely make sure you wanna put on a mask for protection. And if you're worried, check out the CDC's website they have all great tips and even sewing masks. If you're into sewing, which I love to do, check it out and see what you can find. These work great. And if you're available to sew, make some and pass them around to your neighbors and your friends. So thanks for watching. And remember, be safe.